Hello everyone, welcome here to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if it's your second or third or fourth time. And if it's your first time, it's great to see you here again. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott and I'm here today to help you with, um, well, help you with your English, of course. And by way of uh, linking, linking and pronunciation. And also your listening and, uh, you know, speaking as well. So we're here to improve our English and uh, Thinking is the main thing and pronunciation is also a big part of that. So first off, uh, let me explain on the linking part. So as I said in the beginning, my name is Scott. So if I do it slowly, I say my name is Scott. But if I do it quickly, my name is Scott, where name is becomes names. That's where I'm linking it. Well, I should say I'm contracting it. That's a contraction. But if I say my name is Scott to my name is Scott, that I'm linking it all together. And that's what we're focusing on here. That and the pronunciation, which I'd like to get to next. So let me give you the uh, phrase for the day. And today's topic is, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. I'll get into the meaning of it a little bit later, but I just wanna get into the linking and then the pronunciation. So I'm at a loss for words. If I put that all together in a, in a linking pattern, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words, okay? I'm at a loss for words. So let's go on to the pronunciation. Next on the, well, the first word is I, then it's a contraction of am. So I'm, make your I sound, follow with an mm, I'm, I'm. Be careful not to use any uh, vowel sound after that. Just fall it off. Let it drop. I'm, I'm. Uh, I'm followed by at. So you have an at, at sound. Keep your mouth a little bit open. At, at. Followed by a T. At, at. Notice the T sound sounds short in there. and also comes across a little bit as like a TS sound, but there's no S sound here, but I'm at, at. After at, ah. Uh, just a short, uh, unstressed vowel sound. Ah, I'm at up. I'm at up. And next up is loss. So I have my L sound. You know, making that L sound, keep your tongue behind your upper teeth. L. And then aw, ah, followed by a s. Loss. 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 If anything, it sounds like in Japan, as they say, Los Angeles, the city in America, loss. So I'm at the loss. Uh, after that is four. So make your F sum, upper teeth and lower lip and keep it to a aw. And then after that, a R, four, four. Making that R sound properly by using my upper teeth and touching ever so slightly my lower lip. Four, four. I'm at the loss four. And that is followed by words words. So we're, make an R, R is in the, basically the middle of the word, follow that by a D word and then an S sound. But the D and S together comes across as a Z sound. So words, words. Notice I don't say words, words. I'm at a loss for words. And that'd be the proper pronunciation. One more time slowly. I'm at a loss for words. And a little quicker, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. Okay, now I'm gonna link it together here, especially the first half. I'm at a loss becomes I'm at a loss. Can you hear it all linked together there? I'm at a loss, I'm at a loss. And four words, okay? Now let's try it now, link it all together. I'm at a loss for words. That's the linking on it and the pronunciation of it. Now, what I'd like to do next is we're going to compare different speakers from different countries. So first up is going to be, is going to be another American speaker, and he is going to say, I'm at a loss for words. So let's listen to the, uh, another speaker from America. I'm also from America. As he says, I'm at a loss for words. Here we go. I'm at a loss for words. 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 All right, that's fine. And just north of the border from America is Canada. 
And let's listen to our Canadian speaker here, as he has, I'm at a loss for words. Let's listen. I'm at a loss for words. 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 All right, next up is a speaker from the UK. And, uh, well, the Wales to be exact. Let's listen to the speaker from Wales as he has, I'm at a loss for words. Let's listen. I'm at a loss for words. 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 Very good. And our next speaker is from the land down under, Australia. Let's listen to the speaker here as she has, I'm at a loss for words. Let's listen to her. I'm at a loss for words. 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 All right, and next up is another American speaker. Well, actually, it's me. So let's listen to me as I have. I'm at, a la I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Let's listen to me. I'm at a loss for words. 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 And that brings us to our last speaker, and he is from Japan. Let's listen to the last speaker here. I'm at a loss for words. 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 Okay, great. How was it? Hopefully you picked up some differences in the pronunciation and intonation and maybe some different linking styles as well. Now, what's going to happen next is it's your turn to use this expression, I'm at a loss for words. Now, you may not be familiar with this expression. It's not as common as uh, you know, many other expressions that are used in Japan. So, I'm at a loss for words basically means I don't know what to say. Maybe because I'm so surprised or so happy uh, or so sad, uh, depressed. So, I'm at a loss for words. So, if I can just give you like, uh, some beginning and after on that. So, um, well, for example, if somebody says to you, uh, great job, the success is all yours and you don't know what to say, I'm at a loss for words because you're surprised, because you're happy, because you're shocked. I'm at a loss for words. It could be in that context. You don't know what to say. Let's practice this together now. Uh, first, why don't you repeat after me? I'm at a loss for words. Your turn. And let's say it a little bit quicker this time and repeat. I'm at a loss for words. Okay, now I'm going to link it together here, especially the first half. I'm at a loss becomes I'm at a loss. Can you hear it all linked together there? I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. And four words. Okay. Now, let's try it now, link it all together. I'm at a loss for words. One more time. I'm at a loss for words. Okay, great. You like this channel very much? I'm at a loss for words, I appreciate it. So, if you did like what you saw, which hopefully you did, uh, there's a like button down below if you click on that. There's also an area for comments. Uh, if you have any, you know, what you'd like to, any feedback, uh, suggestions, requests, you can put that there as well. And also we have a uh, registration available. We'd love to have you register for this channel because we do want to see you back here again. I'll be back. We'll be back again in the near future. Can't tell you when. And we'll be back um, with our focuses on linking. So thanks for watching everyone. And we do hope to see you back here again. Thanks very much.